A new law went into effect in 2021 to help better protect pedestrians and bicyclists in crosswalks. Here to help keep us on the right side of the law, TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Jennifer, what should drivers know about crosswalks? Hey Mark, well the new law went into effect in 2021 requiring drivers to stop and yield the right of way to people in crosswalks. The law also provides criminal penalties for drivers who fail to stop and yield as, and as a result cause serious injury to someone in a crosswalk. So what were the numbers for pedestrians and bicyclists crashes and fatalities last year? Well, in the El Paso district in 2022, there were 201 crashes involving pedestrians, resulting in 27 fatalities and 34 serious injuries. There were 51 traffic crashes involving bicyclists, resulting in two fatalities and four serious injuries. What were the main causes of crashes between motor vehicles and pedestrians in 2021? Well, failure to yield the right of way on the part of pedestrians and drivers contributed to 111 crashes. Driver inattention and distraction in the vehicle accounted for 42 crashes with alcohol a contributing factor in seven of those 201 crashes. All right, so how can drivers and pedestrians avoid one another and avoid these terrible crashes? Well, again, drivers need to obey the law and stop and yield to pedestrians at crosswalks. Always yield to them when turning. Watch out when passing stopped buses or other vehicles and pay attention. Phones down so you're always prepared if a pedestrian enters your path. Don't speed and as always drive to conditions. All right, so that covers drivers, but you've said before in our area, it's more common pedestrians do not yield to vehicles. So what do they need to know? So for pedestrians, they need to cross only at intersections or crosswalks obeying the signals and never cross a high speed controlled access highways such as I-10 or Loop 375. When crossing, look left, look right, look left again. And I always like to emphasize making eye contact with drivers to be sure they see you. Use the sidewalk. If there's not one, walk on the left side of the road facing oncoming traffic. And when walking, put away electronic devices that take your eyes and ears off the road. Do bicyclists have to follow the same laws as motorists? Bicyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as drivers and can also be fined for violating traffic laws. They must obey all traffic signs and signals, including red lights, stop signs, and yield signs. They should ride in the same direction as traffic, staying as near to the curb as possible, or using a bike lane if there is one. Like drivers, they should use the blinker, like drivers use the blinker, they should use hand signals when turning or stopping. And when riding in the dark, a bike should have a white light in front and a red light or reflector in back, just like a car. All right, Jennifer, let's move on to next week's closures. Okay, well, I-10 Widening West will close I-10 Westbound at Trans Mountain to Vinton starting Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Wednesday and Thursday, I-10 Eastbound will close at Vinton to Trans Mountain at 9 p.m. Both will detour you onto the frontage roads, including the portion that is still down to one lane, so proceed with caution. Watch out for a full closure of I-10 West at Schuster Sunday all day starting at 5 a.m. for bridge maintenance, not lifting until 5 p.m. So allow extra time to detour to Loop 375 or to take Mesa. Jennifer Wright with TxDOT, thank you so much. Thank you, Mark.